what are the top five questions that I get as somebody with a limb difference? Oh goodness, there's so many questions that I get. I mean, less so in this pandemic world that we're in because I'm not really out in public as much, but online I still get lots of questions. There's way more than these five, but I thought I would start, start, start with the ones that like really jump out in my mind. So number one, first question is, what happened to your hand? Why is it gone? And to that I say, I have no idea. It's, it's magic. It's your best guess. No, I mean, in all seriousness, like doctors really don't know for sure. Doctors don't really know why this kind of a limb difference happens. It could be symbracodactyly, maybe there was a small blood clot that prevented growth. Maybe it's amniotic banding syndrome where a little piece of amniotic tissue gets, you know, caught around a limb or whatever, and it just also constricts blood flow and therefore prevents growth or in my case, and I've shared this story before, so for some of you this is not new, but I like to say that because my favorite superhero is Superman, that when I was growing inside my mom, I was growing like this. And then as I was flying like Superman, <laughs> my arm got stuck on the inside of her uterus and just stopped growing. And I, I think that's probably the most likely explanation because if you see how my fingers grow, like they all kind of grow like facing in a little bit and my pinky and my thumb are super long compared to the ones in the middle. So I feel like it was squinched in kind of like this. I don't know though. That's probably the most common question that I get. And I, for the most part, love answering it because it, you know, it starts a conversation that I think is really important. If you meet somebody who has a body that's different than yours or whatever, and the first thing that comes out of your mouth is what happened, <laughs> you might want to rethink that because it can throw people off. It can be, you know, taken as not super kind, maybe a bit intrusive, and maybe people want some time to like work up to telling their story if it's even relevant because it's definitely not going to affect our ability to be friends or in relationship. And you know, it's my story and journey to tell when I'm ready. And do we really need to know? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But there's a time and a place for questions and learning all the time. It's tricky to navigate sometimes, but uh, we got this. We can do this together. Second question. Where did I put it? Okay, so the second really common question or comment in this case is, do you have a sunburn? Do you need some sunscreen? And I'm always just like, no, my arms are just different colors. It's just how my body is. I don't really know why, blah, blah, blah. And people just like feel that it's necessary to tell me as if I didn't know <laughs> that my arms are completely different colors and that I maybe have a sunburn and should take care of the left half of my body. And it's like, no, I'm good. But interestingly, I feel like the difference in color of my skin, and, and I think this happens for a lot of people who have maybe a stump or a limb difference or a nubbin, any kind of body part that doesn't have fingers or toes to kind of move and help the blood flow around that limb, I feel like the blood flow is just a little bit different and therefore it leads to this kind of different color. It also means that my stump gets a lot colder a lot more quicker a lot quicker a lot faster than my right hand and often my little tip of my stump will be like white cold in the snow if i don't have you know double socks on or something to keep warm those are some of the reasons why the color is so different i don't have a sunburn it's not you know i, I do take care of my skin <laughs> so no worries there another question that is super common is how do you blank insert any activity here? How do you brush your teeth? How do you drive a car? How do you put on socks? How do you change your baby's diaper? How do you do a push up? How do you do a downward dog? How do you lift weights? How do you cut your food? How do you cook? How do you anything? There's so, there's so many things. This is another kind of question that I, I love answering. Totally fine to like share this information and to show folks like, hey, there's lots of really cool and diverse ways of doing things and this is how I do it. And it just kind of, you know, helps people think outside the box a little bit. But I will say that as I'm answering this question and showing people how I do stuff, I think there's a part of me that wants to prove to them that I can. I have nothing to prove, but I think that the way that dominant society sees disability 
as this like lack and like, oh, poor you. A lot of us, you know, grow up with a sense of needing to prove ourselves. So that's an interesting portion of that question that I am starting to deal with just now as an adult to be like, I don't owe the world anything. I don't have to show you like, yes, it's okay. I can do this too. Um, but on the flip side, I also love to educate people and talk about how bodies can do different things in different ways. And then hopefully at some point, you know, people won't have to ask. They'll just kind of know. They'll be like, I bet you that she does her hair in her own unique and cool way. Rather than being like, how on earth could somebody with one hand ever put their hand in a ponytail? I need to know. Sips. Okay, two more. Another one I get is, does it hurt? That probably comes from a place of like surprise, maybe caring or maybe just like not understanding, you know, why I have one hand. Maybe they think like, oh, she lost it or it got cut off or I don't know, something like that. So first and foremost, no, it doesn't hurt. Uh, feels like an arm hand like it it has the same feeling it gets a little colder like i mentioned earlier but that's basically it nothing about it hurts unless i you know get a paper cut or slam my stump in a door i imagine that people ask that question just because they don't have a sense of what it would feel like in their own bodies to have a limb difference and so perhaps one of the first thoughts is like oh maybe maybe that hurts and that's fair you know because for a lot of folks with limb differences particularly people who are you know amputees and have acquired their amputation after after a few years or or in their adult life there can be a lot of associated pain you know with that amputation in the healing process and getting prosthetics to fit there's phantom limb pain in fact my friend footless joe who is an amputee a, a foot amputee she talks a lot about the different pain and experiences that she's had throughout her her amputation and healing journey so she'd be a great resource for that but for the most case i would say you know for me as a congenital amputee somebody who was born this way there's little to no pain on a day-to-day -day basis and the last question that's pretty common is can you move your little fingers nope <laughs> i can't i can move them in essence like this but there's no muscle or bone in there. They're just like skin and tissue and flabby flabs and a little nail on my thumb, which is super cute, but I can't move them individually. Like there's a little bit of movement that happens on my pinky when I turn my wrist like this, but it's not based on muscle. It's just based on how the tissue kind of moves. It kind of closes in like it's clapping itself. Yeah, so that's fun. But no, I can't move them. Those are some of the most common questions that I get. And if you have more questions, I'd love to answer them. I'm definitely gonna do another one of these videos because there's so many more questions and there's so many more things to talk about. But let me know, like, how do you answer these questions as somebody who has a limb difference or a disability or what other questions might you have watching this video? Thank you so much for being here. A special shout out to all of my incredible patrons. Thank you for supporting my work. You're, you know, why I'm able to do what I do. So. Thank you from the bottom of my heart and stump. If you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to Stump Kitchen on YouTube. You can also support me on Patreon if you want to. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on Stump Kitchen. Bye. Um, why people are born like this? No, I don't like that, how I said that. No, the heater. <sighs> This is why I love winter and the holiday season because you get to whip out your cool, fun pom-poms on your toques. <laughs> Stump Kitchen, Stump Kitchen, gluten-free, vegan eats, stumptastic treats.